Hello and welcome back and if you're new to the channel hello for the first time it's a bit of a wet dismal uh, March here in the UK uh, this is a video about my replacement battery project uh, this is one of what was two lead acids that I use uh, for portable ops those regulars of the channel will remember uh, its uh, its partner in crime uh, fell down uh, well was dropped down a 20 feet shaft onto a concrete floor uh, so I'll insert a picture of that I've had a problem with uh, lead acids. I use uh, a generator for portable ops. Apart from six meters, I can't filter out the inverter noise, so I'm still using lead acids uh, for six. Um, but I've had problems with uh, voltage drop, uh, and on the uh, FTDX10, uh, when that drops to about 12.2, uh, the uh, the uh, the rig cuts out on 100 watts, which can be a bit annoying in the middle of a contest. So I was mulling over new batteries anyway. Um, so the demise of the other one meant I bit the bullet and bought uh, a life poor for leisure battery from Fogstar. I think there are only supplies in the UK but there might be something equivalent in the States. Uh, 105 amp hour, uh, this one's 115, so it's a similar sort of spec. The one that fell down the shaft I think was 100. Uh, and I'll just insert some some uh, weight pictures because it's amazing how light that is compared to that. So some size and weight comparisons. The big 115s on the left, Fogstar on the right, 80 amp hour at the back. Uh, you can see the the Fogstar at 105 is the same size as the 80. Uh, 27.6 kilos for the big battery. That's 61 pounds. 17.1 for the 80 amp hour. That's 38 pounds. And there's the fog star, uh, 10.3 kilos, 23 pounds. So I won't be going into all the technical details of uh, life for, sorry, life pour for batteries. Um, there's lots of information on the fog star website. Uh, and if you're in, uh, interested in other uh, life pour for batteries, uh, you'll see uh, similar specs on others. Uh, there's an example uh, of how this uh, battery is protected, overcharge, uh, overcurrent and so on. Uh, this also has a Bluetooth app which I'll show you in a bit. Um, the beauty mainly of, well other than the weight uh, of LifePo4 is the uh, ability to deliver power uh, right up till the death effectively. Uh, so if you're a user of lead acids you'll know uh, although that's 115 amp hour really you can only run it down to about half um, so, uh, so 50 60 amps before you potentially damage the battery. Um, LifePo4, you can actually run the battery uh, at full current uh, till it drops to about uh, 10 volts. There's a, there's a battery management system inside that will turn the battery off. So you literally, if you look at the graphs online, you get full current and it'll stop. Whereas lead acids, it'll just start trailing off on voltage and then there's a point where you need to stop using it. Um, so the idea is that this will easily run the rig uh, on SSB uh, for two and a half hour contesting and I might be able to get other, other equipment on there as well. You can connect batteries together. There's an issue with uh, joining lead acids to, together. They have to be very well matched uh, and that's quite a tricky thing. Whereas I think these you can join up to four, uh, but uh, I'm okay with one at the moment. So the only obvious difference externally is the connectors. Typically you get these binding posts on uh, leisure and car batteries and you clamp this on. Uh, here you've got an M8 uh, that's screwed in tight, an M8 uh, threaded screw. Uh, you get these standoffs if you want to make it higher, so that's threaded in the top. Uh, so basically I'll be putting that ring connector on there. Um, hopefully that'll fit, otherwise I need larger ring connectors. Uh, and then uh, that's, that's really the only visual uh, difference other than that. Uh, carry handles, as I say, very light, um, very, very similar. So we've come inside for some uh, some tests. So we've got the uh, FTDX10. Uh, it's on six meters, 100 watts. Um, dummy load uh, and the fog star. So um, and sort of my ring connectors were six nil, so I've, I've cut them and they're now fork connectors. Um, so the idea is that this this is effectively the setup I'll have uh, portable on six with the antenna, obviously at that end. Um, so. The good thing about this battery 
is that it's got a Bluetooth app so you can monitor the power uh, that you're using and also the, the time and the power left in the battery uh, and various other parameters so I'll, I'll show you that in a minute uh, but obviously the battery is a battery um, this works and uh, it's interesting test test one two one two g zero c and n testing um, I'll show you in a minute the graphs and it shows you the uh, the uh, the current draw so on receive the FEDX 10 is drawing 2.2 amps and on the sideband, uh, general uh, call is about 10. Uh, An FM key down uh, was, I think, about 17. Uh, so uh, you can do your own calculations from that. Another thing to point out, um, obviously these batteries, if you've done any searching online, these aren't cheap. Uh, this is uh, dearer, more expensive than, than some batteries out there. Fogstar uh, make a big uh, thing on their website about these are... Uh, I think Class A battery cells, they call them, so basically the brand new. Um, you might find when you do your own searching that uh, there is other questionable um, sources of batteries and, and what the cells actually are. Uh, and uh, Fogstar have a, a good uh, explanation about that on their website. So I recommend uh, um, visiting their site just to just to read their information. So I'll I'll show you the app now and uh, see uh, see how that works. So here we have the uh, the main screen of the app. Uh, the rig's just on receive at the moment. Just turn the volume up. There you go. We're on FM receive, uh, and you can see it's drawing uh, 2.2 amps. The voltage is 13.2, uh, which is nice to see. And you can see I've got 71.4 amps left of 105. Uh, I'm going to key up now. Uh, you just there you go 15.2 uh, amps on fm uh, and i'll just drop that off again it is an instant if i change the mode to uh, ssb hello test hello test g0 c and n test one two one two g0 c and n test one two one two g0 c and n one two one two one two one two so you can see they're drawing uh, about seven amps uh, i'll just put it back on uh, fm um, and if I move the screen down, um, you can see uh, the temperature of the battery, um, the cycles, uh, the recharge cycles, uh, power uh, discharge time. Uh, so you can see uh, some information there uh, on that main screen. Uh, various other options as well. If I go into um, cell voltage, um, and there there's information on the four cells that make up the battery and provide that 13.2 volts and their various states of charge uh, and if i go into another screen and there's lots more um, options here uh, history uh, and there you can see uh, on that graph uh, voltage across the top and there's my current draw 2.2 uh, at rest and there's the peak of fm and there's a timeline and also uh, at the bottom of the screen uh, you can see the um, the temperature of the battery uh, and the state of charge as well. So uh, lots of information. There's more uh, on that app as well. So really, really pleased with uh, with how that looks and, and and what it does. Right. So what's what's the catch? I hear you cry. Well, um, that costs about three times the price of that big lead acid. So the uh, in here in the UK that lead acid is about 100 and say 115 pound plus postage on top so that'll be 120 something uh, that is 360 something pounds so it's about three times the price but the way i look at it that's going to last 10 years and the key thing for me is the voltage will stay steady uh, and it will deliver 105 amps it'll do what it says on the tin so that battery that died down the bunker uh, that lasted uh, same with the other one as well you've seen earlier, uh, about three and a half, three, three and a half years. Uh, so I'm expecting this uh, to, uh, to to match uh, three three of those uh, without without the hassle. Um, there are cheaper versions of uh, these batteries of the manufacturers. Uh, as I said, you need to uh, do some research in terms of the build quality, uh, guarantees and, and what's actually inside these in terms of the cells. 
uh, you can get the 100 amp hour for about 250 pound here in the UK uh, so a lot less but uh, this comes with those features that you've seen uh, and uh, a number of guarantees as well so really looking forward to, uh, to to using this and having having no problems at all and I also considered uh, buying a bigger uh, Life Pro 4 battery to actually replace my generator and run everything uh, off batteries. Uh, but I, I, I've shied away from that. And anyway, the, the double size battery to this one is nearly the same price as buying two uh, of these. So I don't have anything that needs a massive amp uh, pull on its own. So I could easily uh, spread equipment across two batteries and achieve the same as a big battery. Uh, without the upfront purchase so so that's maybe something mean something to consider for another day right so we're back in the garage just for this uh this final piece uh i didn't have a suitable charger for a life pour four so i bought the matching 20 amp fogstar drift charger uh standard lead acid battery chargers uh, won't work uh that's a mere pole i highly recommend those there they're rf noise free uh which i've if you've seen other videos I've, I've bought a few neighbours those to replace noisy ones two issues with this um, it's noisy in terms of the fans always on as you'll see in a second and annoyingly it's RF noisy uh, so when this is on uh, my band conditions upstairs in the shack there's a lot of noise so uh, this this I'll be choosing uh, when to uh, to turn this on so if I turn it on now you'll either charge it's got it's got a number of lights to show its state we get the green and then flashing while it's assessing and I'm sure you can hear that so the fans on all the time it's got a, a fan on the back and if I fire up the app uh, I can see what that's doing charging wise as well uh, I'll just turn that off a sec while I'm talking there's uh, some tips that come with the instructions in terms of how to uh, deal with the battery at first time uh, on charge and how many times to charge it full also in what state to leave the battery if you're storing it a long time so if you do buy a life Pro 4 uh, of your own whatever make it is make sure you read the instructions thoroughly uh, they do uh, perform differently to a to a lead acid um, so like I say that's that's the only uh, disappointment in all of this um, there's nothing much I can do about that but the way it goes uh, on charge Well, I'm looking forward to using that in anger when I'm next out portable. If uh, you like the video, the channel's all about practical operating and some simple projects. If you like and subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified of when new videos are released. 73.